Mr. Holmes, what a compelling mystery we have stumbled upon. Perhaps I have the premise of my next novel. Uh, one kidnapping does not a story make. Stop! A black cat crossed before us. It's a bad omen. I did not take you for the superstitious type, Doctor. Such things are mere fantasies, tricks of a feeble mind. One imagines a physician would keep a surer footing in reality. Perhaps, before the war, my time abroad was difficult. Once, I came across an Afghan, bleeding, who I could not save. He pressed a rosary into my hand. A gift, he said, so as to gain God's favor. After that... Dr. Watson? Yes, well, I shan't get into details, but sometime later I found myself lost in the desert. Dehydration set in, and things grew ever more dire. The man's words came to me. I said a prayer and placed the rosary on a rock. A gift to gain God's favor. And you were rescued? Yes. A detachment of British soldiers found me. To whom I'm grateful. But without their diligence, you would not be standing here and I would not have this case. I'm sure you have another explanation prepared, Mr. Holmes, but I think I shall cling to the occasional superstition all the same. To each his own, Dr. Watson. So long as it does not interfere with my methods, do it. We must press on, cat or no cat. The question remains, why abduct Kimmer here? It appears that the saltpeter explosion rattled the locals. Can't blame them for staying at home. establishment. I've seen worse. Greetings, miss. I'm hoping you can help us. We shall soon see. I heard tell of a recent explosion in the port. What do you know of it? Ah, yes. Something exploded in a ship's cargo hold. Caused a terrible blaze. The sky was red with smoke till morning. Where precisely did it occur? The ship sank near the third pier, next to the dockyard.
Your clothes are already tight, and soon they won't fit at all. How far along are you? I... I thought I'd hidden it better. How did you know? Are you a doctor? In a manner of speaking. He's not. He merely has the ego of one. I apologize, miss. Mr. Holmes is fond of his observations, but I am the doctor here, not him. Do you need any help? I'm fine, thank you. I would rather not discuss my condition, nor let word of it spread. My colleague and I are seeking a burly man, above average height, with workman's boots. Half my customers, then. Your description hardly narrows things down. Are you familiar with a Roy Soulsby? Roy Soulsby? Hmm, I know the name, but he's not one of my regulars. My guess is that he works somewhere around here. What do you know about this poster? A foreign woman asked to put it up. She's plastered them all over the port. Any clues as to her whereabouts? None. It was hard to understand what she was saying. What can I get you? It's a large harbor. If our kidnapper is hiding here, finding him won't be easy. Hello, lad. Is this where I may find Dea? You read the poster? Yes? You know where my brother Gervas is? Sadly, no. Well, not yet. Where did you last see Gervas? He worked at a, um, warehouse. This man, Roy Solby, gave him the job. He paid him a net. A necklace. How would you describe this Soulsby? He was big and strong. Um, he had a big scary eye. Scary, you say? Yes, like, uh, like it was made of 
metal. Do you still have the necklace that Salisbury gave to Gidavess? Gidavess left it near the um, shrine. I tried to sell it to buy Alma um, medicine, but but no one wanted to buy. I want to speak to Dea. Is she around? Emma, my mother. She got sick after the hot, the fire. Big red smoke. She couldn't breathe, so I took her to the doctor. Now I am in charge. Don't go anywhere. I miss Gervis. Do you think he's okay? This cheap pendant looks like silver, but it's only made of tin. No surprise the boy couldn't sell it. I should have helped Alma put out the posters. If she hadn't been in the smoke so long, maybe she wouldn't be sick. I'm sorry about my English. I try hard, but the rules don't make sense. It's stupid. May I ask you something? I think I can help you. Excuse me, just one question. Sorry, sir. I can't help you. May I ask for your assistance? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. How can I help? I could try and flag someone down.
Moskva. Sounds like this ship was from the east. My money is on a loose cigarette or a discarded match. One careless throw and boom. In the mood, mate. Shoo! Pardon me, sir. I am looking for Roy. Uh, not again. Yes, I'm Roy. But I can't help you find your uncle or whoever you've lost. Now, what makes you think I would inquire about missing people? You are the fourth person to ask this week. Just because I work at the port doesn't mean I keep track of everyone who comes here. You say we are not the first to ask you about a disappearance. Do you recall anything about those who came inquiring? Hmm. I only remember the foreign woman. I didn't catch her name, but those are her posters hanging up everywhere. She has badgered me twice now, but I still don't know nothing. And this woman can be found? No clue. She was talking gibberish. May I ask what you're doing here? This is where the ship sank the other day. I'm trying to work out how we'll remove it. Now, where was I? Have you seen this before? My card? Where did you dig that up? At a crime scene near Baker Street involving a young servant's kidnapping, I might add. I... I... No. Someone used it without my consent. How else would it end up there? I have been told that you hired Dea's son, Girves, right before he vanished. His brother also said you had a metal eye. What do you make of this? Tell that him to stop making things up. Boat explosion stopped most traffic coming into the port. Guess I'll be without work for a while. Wonder why people are going missing. Puts a man on edge, you know.
I need to, I'll work to support my family. Just like my brother. Have you ever heard of a man with a metallic eye? I've seen him even. Dirty Summers is the name. A nasty lout with a silver ball in place of a missing eye. I shudder to ask, but where does one find a dirty Summers? He likely signed on with a ship. I am not one to spy on others, let alone him. Hmm, I see. My advice, keep away from him. After the incident the other day, it seems customers are staying at home. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? What are you gawping at? Mr. Soulsby, you know more than you're letting on. W what makes you say that? A man named Dirty Summers was involved in some recent kidnappings across London. He used your name as a cover for his deeds. What? Really? That doesn't mean I'm involved, though. Your calling card was found at the crime scene. That's enough to make you a suspect. <laughs> you cannot be serious. It's true, and that's before mentioning your gold watch. It's brand new and awfully expensive for a customs officer. Clearly you have found yourself another source of income. I'm sure Scotland Yard will be delighted to investigate further. All right, stop. Look, it's not as it seems. I did not partake in the kidnappings. I'm all ears, Mr. Salisbury. Yes, I know, Summers. 
He paid me to turn a blind eye to his business in the warehouse area. Just that, on my word. You did not tell me which warehouse he used? I do not recall, but I use red paint to mark unsupervised warehouses. Ought to be one of them. What else can you say of Summers? He is a regular at the Cursed Mermaid. Goes there with his crew almost every evening. What for? I don't know. I assumed just for a drink. I could do with a pint of the Cursed Mermaid. But the thought of walking in this fog. I need a little Dutch courage to walk in this fog. But I'd have to walk through the fog to get to the pub. That's just cruel, that is. Why do I have the feeling that you know more about Dirty Summers than you're letting on? I have nothing more to add, sir. Enough. I have hard evidence that Summers was involved in recent kidnappings across London. I'm not surprised. So what? A customs officer, Roy Soulsby, testified that Summers was a regular here. You must know something about his business. All I know is his drinks order. If the missing do not concern you, then I would urge you to think about your unborn child. Are you threatening me? Nothing of the sort, but that doesn't mean that there won't be consequences for your silence. Everyone knows you happily served Summers and his crew. Should the police come knocking, you'll be the one going away. And none of us wish to see you raise a child behind bars. Now, spare yourself the trouble and tell me all you know. Okay, okay. Summer's hired my private room. I think he used it to recruit people, but I haven't seen him in a few days. He paid me cash, so I paid him no attention. Nor did I touch anything inside. Here's a key, go and do what you will. Just leave me out of it. The people here are resilient. Tomorrow it'll all be forgotten. Strange symbols. I don't recognize them. Five shillings. That won't go far.
The hairs on the back of my neck stood up. What did you see of Summer's work here? He was recruiting people. It was like the whole world came through my door. People of all creeds and colours, but always strong, always tall. They seem like workers or journeymen. Beyond that, there's not much more to tell. I took his money and let him be. And this lasted how long? Several weeks, I wager. Be careful on the port, gentlemen. The fog is particularly thick tonight. Really, Holmes, this ought to be beneath you. As my brother would say, it is for the greater good. Quality, but torn in many spots. Mold. That's why you don't leave sailcloth lying out.
There are a couple of marks on this end. The scratches are fresh, left by something metallic. This crank saw some use. The layers of rust will prevent any movement. Duck. No one's used it in a very long time. Well oiled and well maintained. Fit for a crank. Passage, just as I expected. <laughs> 